Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amora Love and this is my shower routine. As you can see, I have on makeup so it's time to wash all this off, get undressed, and wrap our hair up. As you guys know, I am a straight natural, which means I have natural hair, but I wear it straight on a daily basis. So I got to protect it from the steam, from the water, and really make sure that none of my hair gets wet because I do not like to reheat style my hair once it's initially been styled. So, you know, got to make sure it's protected. And while we're talking about protecting, let's make sure our Apple Watch is on water mode. First, starting off, I love to use my Dr. Watkins Aromatherapy Shower Mist. This is absolutely amazing. It gets your feels going, and I just do a couple spritz into the steam. Next, going in with my makeup eraser. If you guys haven't tried a makeup eraser, you are really missing out. I love using this because it is eco-friendly for one, easy to use for two, and very affordable for three when you think about the long run of things. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's amazing. <laughs> All you have to do is literally wet it and you can immediately go in and wipe off your makeup. It has a makeup removing side and it has an exfoliating side. They both kind of feel the same for me, but it's something about the fibers and the material that actually do the work and really pull off all your makeup. And the cool thing about it is once you put a little face wash on the makeup eraser cloth, it literally gets clean like new. It's insane. You guys have to try this. Now I'm just using a little bit of face wash to emulsify that makeup debris and really get in around my eyes before I just go in with my skincare. I like to get most of it off with the makeup eraser. So like I said, it's super easy to rinse. You can see all the makeup just coming right off with just regular face wash. Whatever soap you use, it comes off. If you guys haven't tried this cleanser, you are clearly missing out. La Roche-Posay Foaming Cleanser is the best cleanser I have ever used on my face. I do the 60 second method by the LA Beautyologist, which means you wash your face for 60 seconds. And instead of singing a song, I rap a song. I rap Big Sean Bounce Back every time I wash my face. So while I'm washing my face, I'm literally like, I woke up in beast mode with my girl that's beauty in that beast though. Bent off how these niggas sleep though. Only thing that sold out is a seat though. Nigga, how dare you stand before me and I respect my authority. If you fuck with my glory, I'ma drop the L and get gory. I done did everything a step worry. Hella drama my life story. Faith of a mustard seed I kept growing. I knew that this life was made for me. Niggas change up more than wish it was. Karma come around, I wish them well. Living like I'm on a limitless pill. I kill a scene like I'm Denzel. Crazy like my jacket strapped up. Nigga, I don't act, but I act up. Brown paper bag like the lunch packed up. Bad, 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 good. Nigga, I'm gonna eat like 10 feet or get stumped out with 10 feet. I'ma always lose my temper. You cannot count to 10 me. If I lose one, I bounce back like two, three, did with four, five. Seen courtrooms and court sides. Ain't too many seen both sides. Nigga, fuck what you know. Nigga, I'm taking back control. The underdog just turned into the wolf and the hunger steady grows. Yeah, I call shots where you call off. Never take a summer or a fall off. When you stay that committed to it, you just fall down and never fall off. <laughs> Literally every time I wash my face, I literally rap Big Sean, bounce back, the second verse. Stop playing. That's the 60 second method for me. I don't know what else you rap, but yeah. So look, then I lightly run my hands under the water so that I can re-emulsify the face wash with different levels of hydration. I don't know. To me, it just makes sense. And I do that multiple times and then I rinse it all off. I make sure I'm getting all up in my lashes, getting all my makeup debris off in any which way, and I really go in when it comes to washing my face. What's crazy is I actually go in with more cleanser. <laughs> I know y'all like, damn. <laughs> y'all, I'm a Virgo, okay? Just bear with me. So look, I go in with more cleanser, but this time instead of doing a 60 second method, see how I'm just like wishing it all over my face? I'm very lightly doing it. I know it looks rough because I'm going fast, but I emulsify the face wash all over my face to get it super thick and white. And then I basically let it stay like this for the rest of my shower. And I use it as a face mask because I like to take hot ass showers. So to me, the steam and I'm, you know, just the steam of the bathroom, I just feel like it's better if the face wash is just sitting on my face doing its job. So I like to rinse completely off before I just go in with soap. You know the difference when you're rinsing your body <laughs> before you add soap, like you can feel it. So anyway, 
going in with the best loofah of all time. This is the Axe loofah. I've been using this same type of loofah for over 10 years now, guys. It does not fall apart. It actually exfoliates and it's strong. I like to switch up my body washes. Right now I'm using the refillable one from Aveeno and I put it in this, but as you can see, I'm running low. So tell me your favorite body wash and I will try it because that's the only thing I'm not really a stickler about right now. So yes, like I said, this loofah, y'all need to try this loofah if you like something that exfoliates and if you like a loofah that's easy to hold with grip and it exfoliates and it doesn't ever fall apart oh my god hand sound the best loofah i've ever used i don't know about y'all but you should try it out so i'm just scrubbing dub dubbing my body exfoliating getting clean i start from top to bottom i make sure i'm getting in all my crevices all my nooks and crannies you know and you need to be sudsed up scrubbing 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 oh you guys have you seen i have a vlog channel and this video that i posted about this crazy thing that was growing under my skin you guys have to go check it out if you haven't seen it but this is the progress of it healing so far insane i will link that video below it was tragic but go watch it see what happened be nosy anyways yes scrubbing scrubbing or scrubbing and yes i do shower with my waist chain because y'all it's real so it's not gonna change <laughs> i never really take it off unless i'm going in for a massage or something as you can see in my face the face wash is settling in next step i'm going in with my exfoliating glove which I love these. I have a whole pack. I'll leave the link for the whole pack below. And my Kojic Acid Lightening and Exfoliating Soap. And I use that in my downstairs area. So, you know, I'm just gonna exfoliate and do my thing. Rinse off the glove. You know what it is. Then I go in with another exfoliator. This one's really different. I know a lot of guys who use this for their beard when it comes to ingrown hairs or any area where you get ingrown hairs. This is amazing. It's a palm handheld exfoliator that's made out of like silicone i believe but these things actually exfoliate their prongs but they move very interesting i don't know I, it has really good reviews on amazon so i bought it and i'm in love and i always hang anything i use on my body up in an area where it can fully dry so i'll leave this rack below in the description box as well now that we've exfoliated it is time to shave I use my Gillette razor, the five blade razor, and I shave my armpits in a downward motion, okay? Downward motion. I've never lightened my armpits. I've never used any special products on my armpits. I only ever use soap to shave, but when I shave my armpits, I always, always shave downwards. I don't know if that make a difference, but if you have hyperpigmentation in your armpits, maybe try only shaving downward because I've been shaving like this since I had armpit hair. And as you can see, I have no problems. <laughs> Look at my armpit moles, y'all. Do you got an armpit mole? Anyways, now it's time to shave the legs. And I know I said go in a downward motion, y'all, but um, when it comes to my legs, I shave with soap, my shower gel, just regular ass shower gel. I don't use shaving cream. I don't use no shaving, nothing. I just use soap and my razor. And for my legs, I go against the grain. I know, I just use my hands to follow the razor and I go against the grain <laughs> and I shave upward because I love my legs to be super, super soft because you know, people touch those. And like I said, no shaving creams, no special shaving products. I just use soap. I've always only ever used my shower gel. So, yup, <laughs> that's that on there. As you can see, I am re-emulsifying the face wash that's been sitting on my face the whole time during this whole shower. And I just wet my hands and I re-emulsify it just to bring the suds back up and I rinse it all off. This is gonna give my face time to slightly get dry because I don't dry my face when it's time to do the rest of my skincare outside the shower. But while we exfoliate our body, we gonna let our face do its thing. So this is another thing I really believe. This is why I don't have allergies. This is why I never get sick because since I was a little girl, I have been digging for treasure in my nose every single shower. I don't know why. I just always done it when I, since I was a little girl. I hold one nostril and I blow out as hard as I can. 
I hold the other nostril and I blow out as hard as I can. I remove all the debris that's up in there, all the boogers, all the dust, all the pollen, all the lint, anything that could have gotten trapped in your nose hairs, I remove it out. And I feel like that's why I don't got allergies. I feel like that's why I don't got sick because I do this every single shower. So if you got allergies or you're always getting sick, I don't know, girl, try it. Let me know. Let me see if it works. <laughs> Next, we got to get into these crusty feet, okay? Or should I say not crusty because I do this in my shower every time. This little thing right here is what you should be using to remove dry skin from your feet. Not the cheese grater, okay? And maybe you can use a little pumice stone, but this one right here is the best option to remove dead skin. So that's what I use for my feet. Here is my little setup again. Make sure you're hanging things up where they can fully dry, okay? Don't sit it down. So this is my first time purchasing Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and I'm actually a fan. I don't know if I'll be buying more, but I'm gonna use up this whole bottle. I've already dug into it a few times and I really do like it. It's very fragrant. I'm using the Moroccan Rose and right now I'm only ever gonna use this on my legs and on my arms because it's so fragrant i do not want this rinsing off and sliding down into my hoo-ha and you know into other areas that it don't need to be going and imbalancing you know what i'm saying <laughs> so only my legs and only my arms especially i don't use it on my chest or my back especially with what was growing under my skin oh my god you guys have to go watch that video but yes i rinse all that out and that is my inside of the shower routine if you guys want to see my out of the shower routine because is it because it is very in-depth let me know thank you so much for watching all the products and all the things i use will be linked below in the description box have a wonderful day make sure you go watch that video though go watch that video on my vlog channel of what was growing in my skin crazy anyway Bye.